In this video, I'm speaking to one of the smartest people I know in mathematics. So in middle school, he was a top 12 winner at the Math Counts National Competition. He later went on to get a perfect score on the USA Math Talent Search. He placed second in the US on the USA Math Olympia test, winning him USAMO Gold in 2022. He went on to represent the US as a USA IMO team member at the International Math Olympiad in Norway and won a bronze medal. In addition to all of this, he did math research. Uh, he was a Regeneron Science Talent Search Scholar and won third place in math at ICEF 2022. So today I'm welcoming Ram Goyle to the Rishabh Jain YouTube channel where we talk about STEM science research and how to become the best version of yourself academically. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. This video will be split up into three sections, personal background to math, advice for future math competitors, and careers plus some secret sauce math stuff. Finally, we'll briefly talk about math research for those researchy ISEF kids out there. Yo, Ram, thanks so much for joining me here today. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, Rishabh. All right, so this interview is going to be super fast-paced, and I'm just going to grill you. So let's get started in section one over here, which is your personal background and math. So where do you study, and what are you studying? Yeah, sure. So I'm currently an undergrad at MIT. I'm a freshman. I'm studying math and computer science. Okay. And specifically because this video is about math, uh, I have to ask, what math are you taking at MIT currently? Sure. So I last semester I took abstract algebra and I'm doing uh, an advanced algorithms course this semester, which is also a math course. Wow. Okay. Those sound really tough. Um, I, and I've heard MIT rigor in general is, is tough. So I'm just curious, when do you usually sleep? Because I, I see it's like 2 a.m. right now. Yeah, we're, we're conducting this at 2 a.m. But uh, I usually sleep around 3, get my work done, also have some time for fun in between. Dang. Okay. Um, yeah, so I guess just a general kind of question to clear this up. Um, how do we know each other? Tell the, tell the viewers right now. Sure. Yeah, we've known each other since... Uh, almost 10, 12 years. I, I think we met when we were around five. Our parents knew each other and, you know, play dates at each other's house. Uh, I remember you with the bowl cuts. <laughs> that was a, a thing that I remember from back then. Yeah. And I remember going to this guy's house and like playing chess and like doing the IXL like math problems and <laughs> always on that grind since day one. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so speaking of that, starting out since day one, um, how did you get interested in math and what motivated you to do competition math specifically? Yeah, sure. I, I've always liked math, as, as you saw when I was young, and uh, competitions were a great way to, to you know, keep, keep my interest alive in that, things like math, counts, AMC. So it's just a great way to you know, continue working at it and have some goals to work towards. Okay. Yeah. And I guess just for the last bit about your personal background, can you tell the viewers like what math competitions you participated in? Sure. Yeah. So I did the AMC Amy track and got all the way till the highest level, which is the USA IMO team, International Math Olympiad. So the top six um, US uh, high school kids get to go to the IMO, which happened in Norway last summer, uh, just before I started college. So I competed there uh, I won the USAMO. I got a gold medal, which is the USA Math Olympiad. So a lot of, you know, uh, things along the AMC Amy track uh, when it comes to competitions. Dang. Okay. That's really impressive. Um, and so I think this will be really helpful for future competitors. So let's transition into section two, which is advice for these future competitors. So my first question here is um, in your peak season, in your peak study sessions, how much time, like how many hours per day um, were you spending on math? Sure, yeah. So my peak season was, you know, just before IMO, which was uh, last summer, like I said. And I was spending, you know, all my time on math. I'd say, um, you know, anywhere from five to seven to sometimes even eight hours a day uh, grinding out those problems. So it, it definitely took a lot of time. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's that's really impressive. Um, and I guess for the, those who are like looking to start out in competition math, uh, those are who are kind of new to this in general. Um, how do you get started? Sure. Yeah. So math counts is a great way to start that that's in middle school. There's a, a lot of structure around that in, in middle school. Uh, a lot of teachers, you know, they provide the infrastructure to get started with that. You have teams um, and you get to work with other students. Um, but outside of that, the main thing is just, you know, working through a lot of books. I use the art of problem solving books. 
um, the intro to counting book, intro to algebra, really solid resources to, you know, get your fundamentals right. And from there, you can keep progressing by working on Olympiad problems and, and more. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's a great foundation. Um, and so then moving on from that, how did you prepare for like the highest level? How did you prepare for the IMO specifically? Sure. Yeah. So, so that kind of transitions into more proof-based problems called Olympiad problems. They're, they're type of proof problems. And then you can find a lot of problems online, old IMO problems. Um, I did a program called Otis run by Evan Chen. So that's a really, really great program to, you know, it's called Olympiad training for individual study. So as you can guess, it's for Olympiads and it's a great resource along with just doing a lot of problems online and reading up on your own. You just have to be very, uh, you know, innovative with coming up with ways to study for these things. Nice. Yeah. Um, and one thing I keep hearing about is like the kids who are, you know, representing their countries, uh, specifically in the U.S., right? Um, isn't there some program, I think it's called MOP. So I was wondering, like, what's that program like? Um, I think a lot of viewers want to know, like, how is that camp? How is it structured? Could you tell yeah, us yeah. a little so, bit more? Exactly. Yeah. So so MOP is called the Math Olympiad Program, Math Olympiad Summer Program. It's the training camp before the IMO. Um, so 60 kids get invited from around the country um, based on their performance on the USAMO, which is the test after the AMC and AMI. Um, so based on that, you get invited to the, go to this really awesome camp at Carnegie Mellon University run by Professor Po Shen Lo. He's a math professor uh, up at CMU and he runs it. He invites all these high school kids. You, you build a great community, have a lot of fun, do a lot of math. And it's just a great way to bond with other kids and also increase your uh, Olympiad skill a lot. So it, it's it's a great experience. And then from there, uh, the IMO selection starts happening for the next year. Nice. Um, yeah. And, and so I guess this next question is pretty specific for you. Um, so for you, like for in your experience working with these Olympiad problems, what's your general thought process for answering questions? Like my, my viewers were wondering, do you immediately start abstracting or do you start working with numerical values and then go to abstracting? So how does that thought process work? Yeah, sure. So it's really like a logic puzzle in some sense with a mathematical you know, foundation around it. Um, you really need to, the way I usually start is by doing a lot of small examples. Um, if it's geometry, maybe you know, drawing the diagram, seeing if there are some things that I recognize from older problems. Um, but yeah, uh, for, for non-geometry problems, maybe doing some small cases, you know, trying out things you've seen before, um, and then from there, just trying to get a foothold on the problem, try to see what's going on, explore avenues that, you know, seem promising in the problem. And then from there, just really build up an understanding over, you know, a couple hours, um, which is how long it takes. And, and then slowly you piece together a solution to the problem. So it's really slow. You got to be patient and it, you have to build it up. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's great to hear. Um, another question, this actually came from one of our Discord members. So for those of you who are watching, um, there's a Discord server for viewers of my YouTube channel for all sorts of like STEM research, STEM stuff, STEM competitions, just like this. So one of the viewers was asking, um, how do you get from the next level or how do you get to the next level from, from where uh, someone might be at? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, the, the, in the competition track, there, there's very concrete levels. There's AMC, then AIME, then USAMO, then MOP, and et cetera. The, the, the hardest jump is just getting from one level to the next. You really have mm -hmm. to put in a lot of effort. The hardest jump is probably getting from AIME to USAMO because you have to do a lot of proof-based problems. Um, but yeah, it really just takes a lot of work and working at the right kind of problems. For Amy, you know, you'd, you'd want to look at old Amy problems, work through all of those. Whatever level you're at, try and challenge yourself with problems that are at that level and slightly above so that you can be prepared and then work your way to the next level. It takes multiple years often, but it's, all, it's, it's always worth it. Yeah, that's, that's really great advice. And so to close this section off, um, I, I think there's going to be a lot of viewers here who are at the AMC level, right? Um, not everyone's going to be, you know, IMO level like you. So I guess overall, what's your biggest advice to aspiring com like competition students um, sure. for all, all of the levels? Yeah, yeah. So having a solid foundation is really the key, um, especially at the AMC level, which is the first level. Um, going through, for example, the art of problem solving books, really a great resource, intro to algebra intro, intro to counting. All these books are really great foundation. You master those, work through those for a couple of years, and then that, that's the best way to get started. And then from there, you can just keep rolling. Nice. Okay. 
Yeah, so let's transition to our final section today, which is about some careers um, and some secret sauce and some exciting math stuff. Um, so the first question is a little bit more personal to you. Uh, so I was doing some LinkedIn stalking the other day, and I saw that you're doing some research at MIT. Um, I'll link your LinkedIn down below in the description in case people want to check it out. So, um, yeah, you, you also do research. I remember you did research in high school, right? We went to ISEF together. So yep. what are you doing now at MIT? Can you disclose some of those uh, top secret research info? Yeah, 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 sure. So I'm working a lot in machine learning nowadays. Um, I'm, I'm really interested in computer science and machine learning specifically. My research has to do with uh, basically using this thing called diffusion model, which is a really new, innovative type of machine learning model to try and uh, plan out robot trajectories. So hopefully can navigate some some tough surfaces. So using a lot of machine learning stuff and that that's where my research lies nowadays. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, and I guess spinning off of that, what career are you interested in like academia? Um, do you have any ideas or plans yet? Yeah, yeah. So obviously there, there, there's still a bit, so I'm not totally sure yet. Academia, right. maybe not, not totally sure. Um, you know, working at some, uh, you know, robotics company or something because of all the machine learning stuff would definitely be a possibility or finance that that's a great place that, you know, math skill can be used. Um, also just software engineering that that's a huge one where again, math, you know, background comes in a lot. So I'm, I'm not sure yet, but all, all these things seem really interesting to me right now. Yeah. And I'm sure, um, you know, I'll keep updated on your journey. I recently announced that I'm committing to Harvard, so we'll see each other in yeah, Cambridge. Yeah. Yep, right. Yep. Yeah. So it'll be really exciting to, you know, see how this evolves. Um, and so what are, you know, there's probably some past U.S. Math Olympiad alumni. Right. Um, and so I was wondering, what are some cool things that they're doing uh, since they yeah. might be a little bit older than you? What have they done? Any big awards, anything your friends have done that are pretty cool? Sure. Yeah. 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 So a lot of my friends are still around my age. So nothing, nothing okay, quite yeah. too much yet. But uh you know, a lot of the previous IMO um, people, uh, I don't know about from US, uh, but a lot become, you know, PhDs, you know, uh, professors at prestigious universities. Recently, uh, a Fields Medal was awarded to Akshay Venkatesh, who's a previous IMO person, I think, from Australia. Or, I'm not exactly sure, but a lot of great things being done. Um, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of you know, awards being awarded in, in the pure math area, as well as for computer science. And there's, there's just so much you can do with math. So a lot, 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 lot of possibility there. Yeah, that's that's really great to hear. Um, so at this point, for a bonus clip, uh, as I promised at the beginning of this video about Ram's involvement in math research specifically um, and math competitions as an extracurricular, you can check out a course um, which I'll have on research competitions and STEM competitions in the pinned comment down below. Uh, but now to kind of conclude this interview, Ram, any last words? Uh, nothing, no, nothing right now. I'm excited to see where you go as well, Rishab. I look forward to seeing you. Yeah. Thanks so much for this great conversation. Um, and I think we'll see the viewers in the course again, link down below, make sure to check out, you know, Ram's profile. If you're interested in learning more about his path to greatness. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to see what the future looks like for you, Ram. Um, Thank you so, so yeah, yeah. Thanks for being on. Um, and we'll see you next time. All right. See ya.